Okay, today's the big day. I made a video a while back about the man who ruined my career in mechanical engineering. And it turns out, he's basically been on a rampage of ruining people's career. After that video, I got so many messages from people that were like, uh oh. I got so many messages from people saying, dude, he did the same, come on Google, from people saying that he did the same thing to them. I'm typically a pretty conflict avoidant person. I, I kind of try to avoid conflict turn at all right costs. Main Street South, then turn left onto Botsford Street. But not today. I'm gonna confront the man face to face and tell him what I really think. Yo. Hey man, uh, hey. I am in the parking lot. Yep, uh, so come up high as you can in the building and it'll be there. We'll be there. All right, sweet, sounds good. I'll right. see you in a minute. Alright, okay, yep, bye. bye. showed him, right? <laughs> I think this is it. Wait, are you the guy that said that I ruined your career with three words? Yeah. Now I'm stuck on the dirt, man. I don't know how to get up that. I see how this ends. Oh. So sketchy. Is this why I tell your audience that I don't hate you? Yeah, that's because from be that good. intro, they might think that I'm like a, <laughs> people who hang out with me always think I'm the meanest person. <laughs> just oh like gosh. the meanest person. Yeah, that's kind of your brand. It's yeah, just internet bully. That's, that's what I'm known for. Yeah, the trolling. The skateboarders told us we were cool. <laughs> Must be a good sign. Am I just becoming more and more a hack job? <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my phone and a battery as a tripod, but we'll just crouch down lower now that now that the <laughs> yeah. tripod got lower. Oh wait, here we go. <laughs> this is very um cathartic, I guess, seeing that you don't have everything completely together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I don't know what a nicer way to say just that. Hit him. Hit him. <laughs> I can't think of a nicer way to say that. That's like the equivalent of saying like <laughs> it's nice to see that you're kind my of my expectations <laughs> were, were completely not met. <laughs> I am so underwhelmed by everything you do. <laughs> okay, I'll go home now, Maddie. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Oh, nobody man. has it. Everybody thinks you have it put together perfectly. Oh, I look at your gosh. videos and I'm like, man, his colors are so nice. Man, his framing is so good. It's so easy to feel like you're on an island when you're making your own videos mm. and feel like you don't have your life together, you don't yeah. have your processes together, and it's nice to see that to a certain extent, everyone is always like 100%. winging it to a certain point. This is the wild, wild west. Nobody, this is like, all of this is so new. Like who the yeah. heck, why are we grown adults? <laughs> We're at like a picnic table in yeah. the middle, like what is, come on, <laughs> grow up guys, <laughs> grow up. Grow up. <laughs> Sorry, I ruined your framing no, now, this that's... whole video is gonna be oh, screwed up. That might up. be better now. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to figure it out as it goes along. That's the best part about YouTube, right? Yeah. And ride one wheels. And ride one wheels, man. That's the most check important that thing. Check the bucket list. <laughs> Let's go ride some one wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Anything for the shot, right? Oh boy. I have found for me that starting is usually the hardest part of the process, especially when it's new and you're not used to making videos. Do you have any methods or just advice for how to get started and get over that initial resistance? In the in the day to day, like if I need to film a video today, the best thing I can do is just film one clip. As soon as I've filmed one, then it's like, oh, now I'm just filming the video. But it's that anticipation of like, I have to film a video today. 
that's the hard part and that'll like freeze you and you're just like you get stressed out and whatever that's why i actually really like daily vlogging because there was no time to be like oh when should i start filming this video you just start like right away kind of thing and you film at least one clip like maybe it's a maybe it's a time lapse of a sunset or a sunrise or something then it feels like i've started the video and then it just like the ball starts rolling it's really easy in the big sense it's kind of the same like just pick up your iphone point it at yourself and like film something, film anything. And you start realizing that like, oh, it's not just reserved for a few people. Like anybody can do this. Cause that's what I thought. I wanted to be behind the camera and that's where I stayed. And then once I filmed myself a little bit, I was like, okay, I'm not the best at this, but like, I think I can do this. Heck yeah, I love that. <laughs> what keeps you going? What keeps you making videos or even beyond videos? What keeps you creating? even if it's not specifically video. The money. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie exposed again. <laughs> no, the money really doesn't make any difference. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I guess I just really enjoy it still. Especially, okay, pandemic YouTube world was different. Now we're in this world where we can actually like hang out again and go travel and see places and experience things. I love it. It's like, and I, I feel like I get more, people always say like, when do you know to put down the camera and when to film your video? And like, I, I'm pretty like strategic about what things I film, but I feel like I get more out of those moments when I'm filming them versus if I'm not, if I don't have my camera. I always go the extra mile, the extra distance to really experience that place or that that thing that we're doing. Yeah. Like I, I like specifically when we went to Norway a couple couple years back, it was like three in the morning and the sunset was just, or sun, sunset, sunrise, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird that time. Uh, it was just popping, it looked so good and we're like, Let's just go on a hike, right? And I don't think we would have done that if we didn't have our cameras with us. I think we would have just, it was a long travel day, we were tired. I think we would have just gone to bed. But instead we got one of the most epic sunset, sunrise things ever. And it ended up being like the best, some of the best footage from that whole trip. And I would have missed out on that if I wasn't Dude. making a video. So I think I just like it. That's so good. That, oh man, I love that because I feel like there is that idea of like, oh, if you're just doing it for the photo or video, that's not good. But man, when you have that motivator to be like, this is really hard, but I really want that shot. Like that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I think it's like, I love video so much. It's going to make me push myself further yeah. to like get that shot. That's great. That is okay. Maddie's got a lot going on today, so he's not able to turn on the <laughs> sign. <laughs> but there it is. That is the weakest ending to this video, <laughs> but maybe that's an accurate depiction of uh, day in the life of Maddie. So put some uh, effects on that to make yeah. it look like it's on. Um, whoever my editor is, make that happen because I don't know how to do it. Do you have an editor? No. Okay. Let's just check. <laughs> Even though I use it as clickbait and joke about it. Thank you for ruining my career. You're welcome. I'm glad. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you, man. Thanks for coming over, man. <laughs> Next time I'll have the, the, the sign light up for you. Deal. Uh, you heard it here first. I'm invited back. Yeah, you can come back. <laughs> Only to see that. <laughs> then you can leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>